Well folks, how are you? New tool day today. This here is actually quite a simple one, but a very useful little tool. And I've always been surprised how few people actually know you can actually get these. If you're on the trade and you need them, you're going to know about them. A lot of other people don't realise you can pick them up for actually very little money now. So I thought I'd take this one on and give it a wee feature. Mainly because it's a handy tool and they're not expensive. So what have we got? This is a battery operated suction lifter or a suction cup. Now, everybody's probably seen the little manual ones you get. Either the flip over type or the wee handle here, you flip over to get suction. They're the original, most common one. Fairly cheap and cheerful now. The other one then is a wee manual pump on top. You pump it to remove the air from underneath, and that's what gives you your seal. Both that type and the older lever type both have the same flaws. They're good to do the job, they don't hold an awful lot of weight. And over time, if it's sitting for too long, it can leak air. You're not going to know, and it can eventually come away. Not what you want. Units like this is what's been used now. Battery operated suction cups. It always surprises me. The just the amount of people that don't realise you can get these battery operated suction cups. They're still using the old manual ones. Fair enough, it's the lighter stuff. The manual ones are going to be doing the same job. But when it's heavier th stuff or more expensive items... That you really can't afford to be dropping. These here come onto their own. Mainly because obviously it's been battery powered. It's going to be easier to use. You're going to get more suction out of it. Therefore you're going to be able to lift bigger loads. But the main advantage. Like I was saying of the older type. If they start to leak the vacuum or leak air in. They can lose their suction. Lose their hold and come away. With the battery type they actually create the vacuum. But they also monitor the vacuum. So as this runs, the motor takes out the air, creates a vacuum. We've got your actual force then for lifting. If it drops, if it makes an air leak, if the vacuum's not strong enough, the pump comes back on again automatically to keep this attached. That's the main advantage, I find. Obviously, you get bigger, more expensive ones as well, branded types. But for the price of the branded ones, you can buy several of these here types of units. So if you got different boys on the team, or if you're needing more than one, these here are a better option to go for price-wise. They're cheap to buy, and they're easy to use. That's what I find good about them. Come with a little USB charger, and a few little spare filters. They go on underneath here. Charger goes directly into the battery. So this unit here, on a smooth, non-porous surface, like a tile or something, it can actually hold... Up to 600 pounds, but that's maximum. But the safe working load is about 375, so she's guaranteed to hold at 375 pounds, no problem. So, the way these work battery obviously runs a motor which runs a small vacuum pump that sucks all the air out of on here between this rubber plate and the surface, creating a vacuum, and that there's what gives your hold for actually lifting. So, they're very simple to use. And the batteries push directly on. You have a wee LED display at the top to tell you how much vacuum you have. And the battery indicator as well. Whenever she's running, that'll tell you your battery level. Now to test this on the workbench isn't the best thing for lifting on because obviously this will just tear the surface off this workbench. This material might be glued down, but this would easily pull it away. Might be able to show it lifting on this here tabletop, but it is good for showing how it keeps the vacuum. This material isn't smooth, and it's actually porous as well, so this will leak that air back in again. It'll show you how it actually replenishes the vacuum as it's sitting here. So, very simple to use. Battery on. Hold the on button. That creates a seal. You can see the actual pressure or the vacuum starting to fall because this material 
as porous air as been slowly sucked in from underneath. And still, there's still a good hold in it actually, even though this material is glued down. You can actually see it being lifted up. If I go much harder than that, there we go. If I pull it up any harder than that, I'm going to pull the actual material off the bench. But you can see how that keeps dropping. And once it goes so far, the pump will come on again and replenish the vacuum. So she drops down to below 50. She keeps coming on over and over and over again. It means the motor's not running constantly, annoying your head. But you also have the reassurance of knowing if the does drop down too low, it comes on automatically. So if you're lifting something like a big double or triple glazed window pane, a new door, actual work surface like a marble worktop or big floor tiles or something like that there. This is going to stay attached because that pump is going to keep coming on and replenishing it. This was just a manual one. You pumped it on and left it for 10 minutes. Maybe you got called away. It could lose suction and come away from the actual material. This here, once it's on and she's switched on, she's staying there. Switch it off, double click, and she's out. Actually pulled up the material there anyway. Not an expensive unit, but an extremely useful tool. If you're doing any sort of lifting on big, awkward objects that are flat and smooth, these here make life so much easier. You, you can imagine lifting something like a double or a triple glazed window pane, even just replacing the windows themselves. When you get to a certain size, it takes at least two people. You're trying to hold on to the edge of the glass. Stick one or two of these onto it, makes life so much easier. Even just tiling, the big massive tiles you get now, if you're cutting it into a corner in an awkward place where you can't get in very easily to drop it down, one of these here in the center, just lift and drop no problem. These things can easily make a two-man job, a one-man job. Very handy tools to have. So let's test it out and see what she can stick to. Now, obviously glass isn't a problem for it. Sticks to that, no problem. Honestly, you'd pull the glass out of the frame before you shift that thing. Now she's going to work better on flat, smooth surfaces like glass or tiles or resin worktops, stuff like that there. It's going to get a better suction and stay sucked on for longer, but they will still work on something like plywood. You're not going to get a constant seal, so it'll constantly be needing to replenish it. But it still works. That's on there. Yeah. I ain't going nowhere. So as you can see, she'll still work and ply. Better on smoother surfaces though, especially non-porous. So as you can see, it's no problem sticking and no problem holding. And as you can see from the way she's actually constructed, actual handle bolted down tight. She's really designed to have a good hard hold. It's not like the handle is going to come away. She's fixed solid to this here base. The base itself is one big rubber piece. Quite heavy rubber as well. Different layers to it. But underneath that will be a steel ring as well. So whenever that's attached, the actual handle is going nowhere. She's solidly attached and you can put quite a load onto it. The actual base and the suction she gives. Maximum £600. But a working load of about £375 is so what they recommend it to be safe. Very useful little tools, highly recommend them. Now, the shop that actually sent this in, fan pop ups. Actually, also included a discounted link as well. So, I'll put a link at the bottom to this here. We actually get a discount on it as well. You get it for a bit less. Now, if you're interested in one, this crowd fan pop ups. Actually, give us a discount link as well. So, if you're looking for it, you can use the link at the bottom, actually, get a discount on it as well. 
but that's for the american market i'm afraid just crowd only sells in america so it's only for them sadly the link doesn't work here in europe so if you're in america you're looking for one click on the link you'll get it for cheaper a very useful product a very handy tool if you're doing any sort of heavy lifting these things here are brilliant highly recommend them thought i'd just feature this one because a lot of people just don't realize these are on the market and you can get them so easily and for so cheap definitely one worth having check them out battery operated suction cup as well you can actually get extra batteries for these as well just in case you're using them a while lot in the day you can have a spare battery they come on a nice wee blow molded case as well for keeping it all together check them out